Hello guys and welcome to Symphogear episode 10 uh, or the review of the 10th episode of Symphogear's third season and this episode it was a little disappointing in my opinion actually because what is happening in this episode let's see we find out that um, yeah that um, what's it called the uh, Elf Nine was actually used to spy on the, you know, the headquarters uh, for Song, but she didn't do it willingly. So she um, actually wanted to get uh, locked up in a prison cell so she can't, uh, you know, reveal the the secrets of Song to um, oh, what's it called again, Carlo, and apparently. The, the Carlo, we know as Carlo, she she don't remember her father very well because from what we see in a, a flashback, uh, Elf Nine actually tells her that um, the fa the the uh, what you call Carlo's father wouldn't want uh, the world to be destroyed. And this, of course, angers uh, you know. Um, Carlos, because uh, she um, she don't want to get told by one of her creations that she did something wrong, because she just see Elf Nine as a creation of hers instead of a person. Because from what I can see, Elf Nine is a person. That's a yeah, because she has feelings, and that we can see because she doesn't you know like yeah when it. To reveal that she was spying on Elf, not, uh, what's called on Song, she, she cries. She cries and really wants to get locked up because she's sad that she revealed the song's secret. You know, like, so uh, yeah, Carlos could basically just look at it. It's, uh, yeah, it annoys Carlos. But yeah, let's get the. And uh, let's also talk about Dr. Bird. Who is he's back and I, again I said I thought he died in the previous season. Didn't didn't I'm I, I'm pretty sure he died, but apparently he didn't. And he still has his uh, Nephilim hand, who apparently can like deflect the power of a Symphogear user. So he must be pretty powerful. But then again. He's also insane, which is clearly uh, seen as the way he acts. He acts like he is the hero, even for the, from our point of view, he is the, the bad guy. And in any case, he is actually right, because from his point of view, his action is maybe justified. While from our, our side, it is evil. So yeah, it's again a perspective, basically a view. Because one person maybe see himself as a hero, but the rest of the world see him as a villain, and then he has been known as a villain. Of course, that doesn't mean that evil don't exist, because of course it does. But then again, evil is like a definition of man, you see. That is what I think, but that's philosophically. That is philosophical, so let's not get into that. Let's get to Dr. Bird. Basically, let's say it like this. Uh, Carlos is very interested in his hand because she thinks she, uh, she can uh, use it uh, to, to complete her machine that will basically destroy the world. Um, instead of that, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, it has a very strange name, uh, basically, that was destroyed. Uh, in the last episode, also, uh, yeah, the last of the what's it called the auto score dies in this episode, where we find out that I think that uh, actually with Chris's trial was that uh, she had to learn uh, that she could depend on others, she could, you know, care for others because. Just because, you know, like, 
her parents died protecting her doesn't mean that everyone that she cares about will die. So that is what she learned in this. She learned that it's okay for her, even though she is a senpai to um, to um, Shiraba and Hiraka uh, to um, have um, you know them help her. It's okay. Also, I must say that her ignite transformation it felt a little bit rushed. Yeah, compared to the other girl's transformation. But then again, I guess all the transformation time was used on, uh, let me see, Kiraka this episode, which has a very nice transformation. I actually wish they would um, have an episode where we saw all the four girls' transformation in full. Because I really like that. Also, Apparently, uh, the auto score in the last episode, let me see, uh, the wind one, let me see, no, it's here, oh, Pada, she apparently didn't die from getting cut off and burned, she was apparently alive and still able to self-destruct, I'm not sure because it sounds like, you know, the ignite mode is actually bad because it gives like, uh, what you call it, uh, Carlos, the, the last key that you need because you need the cursed melody, which I think is uh, basically, I think the ignite mode is uh, corrupting the the song, as the symphony uh, song. But then again, actually, when I said it was boring, it's actually really interesting because there's a lot of things to consider in this episode especially the last um, I don't know who the mystic enemy that I used for uh, for thumbnail is but yeah I hope that it's explained there's actually a lot of unexplained thing in this episode there's also somewhere uh, Hibiki and Mi Miku they uh, talk together uh, over the phone it sounds like she is willing to give her father another try, but I'm not sure. It is really, uh, it's really confusing actually, this episode. A lot of stuff, and yet, it's a lot of questions and a lot of answers, and yet it's still a little hard to keep it straight because there is not of answers hopefully the next episode or the fi final will um, reveal it because it's sad if we are like left on stuff that isn't explained of course it could be that i that the translation that i saw was uh, a, a little off so i missed some information but yeah that's basically all i have to say about this episode so you guys will see you later today because i will promise you something i will not be doing anything else i will be watching uh, what's it called uh, i was about to say high school dxd <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah maybe i would actually watch that because i still haven't finished the uh, last season but yeah uh, i will be watching bikini warriors monster musume and overlord today and have them out today. I'll also be watching some stuff um, today so we can get, you know, like catch up on the last time. But now I'll take a little time to relax and then I'll start watching. So see you guys later and have a good day. Good night, wherever you are. Cheers guys.